So yeah, um, good job again, and then uh, I'll see you next week, okay? All right, bye. Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, just finished a lesson here, and uh, I'm gonna give you a tip that will help you uh, since it's been helping my students. Cue the music. All right, if you guys are finding me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the red button down below that says subscribe. That way you are notified anytime I put out a new video in regards to marching arts, marching bands, drum line, inter percussion, drum corps, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Now also make sure that notification bell is ringing as well. That way for sure you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video. So subscribe, make sure that notification bell is ringing, and let's get to the video. Okay, so I've had this situation a lot with so many students in that like, you know, I'll teach them a part, right? And it's like, okay, the part is this. Right? And they'll be like, okay. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't make, I don't even make, I don't mean to make fun of my students. All right. Uh, however, that, that situation happens a lot. Okay. And uh, I've really, you know, done my best over the years to try to figure out the psychology of why things happen, why students do things a certain way, or why you know people have trouble learning something. Uh, it could be something that I'm doing wrong, uh, that I could be doing better, uh, or it could be something you know psychologically based uh, within the student. Not, not that there's anything wrong with them. More as, more, it, more so it's just like, you know, what is some common human trait that they might have that is causing them to, uh, you know, basically have trouble learning something. And usually that human trait is inherent in everybody, which is why I see this in, you know, all kinds of different students, several different students is the same problem. And that problem is the one I outlined right there, which is, which is I'll teach them a part or they'll look at something on, on a sheet of music and then it's like, okay, they, they, then they play it and they play it correctly, maybe one time, two times, and then they go back and then they play it incorrectly. And they'll play that incorrect part over and over again. Have you ever experienced that where it's just like, you know, you, you play something one time, you play it right maybe a couple times, you go back to it and then you play something wrong. And you don't know that you played something wrong. Maybe your instructor or a friend tells you, like, dude, that's wrong. Like, that's, that's not the part. Or your, your private lesson instructor tells you, no, that's not right. Do it again. Remember, it's this, right? It's this. Not this. Okay, and the student still insists on, or you might still insist on. Okay, so... Or maybe like you get in a situation where like you know you're doing it wrong and it's just like, why do I keep doing this? When I know the instructor just told me, my friend just told me that the part is this. Okay, I think the reason why that happens is because, you know, when you learn something for the first time, right? Like you don't have it down yet, right? You don't have it like firmly in your memory banks. You don't have the, you, you don't quite have the muscle memory yet. Okay, so your hands can't recall it. And then what ends up happening is because you don't have that comfort level, because you know you don't know that part that well yet, okay, that's that means that there's some gaps in information, right? It's like your head doesn't have the whole part down yet. And therefore, whatever part is missing, okay, in terms of information, your brain is gonna want to fill it with something else, right? Because it's like, I know there's something there, but I don't know what it is, so I'm just gonna fill it with some kind of information. And that information could be wrong, right? So that's why maybe like a part like this can turn into this. Okay, it's just what's missing, like one note, right? Okay, but it's like, um, you know, your brain just thinks like this is the right part. And the more you play that part, the more you convince yourself that it's right, even though it's wrong, okay? So I have gone through so many situa situations like this with my students where I have to tell them, like whatever your brain is telling you as far as like, this is the right part, it's not. I'm telling you it's not, okay? Look at the music, listen to what I'm saying, here's the part, right? Like this is the actual part. Okay, and then, you know, sometimes we have to go through many different iterations of that, but uh, it can still be very hard to break out of, you know, whatever you've convinced yourself, whatever your brain has convinced you, is right okay so you have to kind of deprogram yourself and say no that is not the right part okay because the brain wants to steer you the wrong way okay 
me as a, me as a teacher, and if you're seeing this in your students, or if you're a friend and you're seeing this in your friend, you gotta try to steer them the other way, try to convince them that your brain, okay, your brain is wrong, all right? The information is trying to make up is not correct. This is the correct way. You gotta try to steer away from that because the longer you stay on that path of, yeah, this is right, yeah, this is right, yeah, they do it more times incorrectly, you know, like, like it's just gonna reinforce that belief that the wrong part is right. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so, um, you know, maybe you've, like I said, you've gone to run into the situation before with yourself, you've seen it in other students, you've seen it uh, with people in the drum line with you, okay? So that's what happens, and this is why people sometimes play the wrong part and they get stuck with it, and it can be very, it can take a very long time to undo that, to unlearn what they've learned, which is wrong. So it's really important that you learn something right for the first time and, you know, build the comfort level for that. If there's any gaps in information, fill it, Fill it with correct information, okay, and then play the correct part several times, and then you build the muscle memory, okay? You convince yourself in your head that this is the right part, okay, and then you're good to go. Does that make sense? Okay, so hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, I know that, you know, maybe like marching band packets are coming out for you to learn. Uh, so this is this piece of information I gave you is really critical, okay? Learn the part correctly, sit down, and make sure that you have the part right before you move on to the next bar, the next phrase, whatever, okay? Because what tends to happen is if you don't really learn it, you're gonna move on and then there's gonna be gaps in information and maybe when you come back to it again, your brain's gonna be like, wait, what, what, what was that part? Okay, well, I'm just, I think it's this. And then it fills it with all kinds of wrong information and then you play the wrong part, okay? So think about that, all right? It makes sense from a human, human standpoint in that we want to fill gaps of information with information. And sometimes it means you fill it with wrong information. So you gotta know that that's a human tendency uh, so you, you so that you understand that for yourself and if you're working with others uh, you understand why it happens to them Okay, so cool guys. Hopefully this video was helpful to you Hopefully this information was helpful if you did do me a huge favor hit, hit that like button down below If you have any questions or comments or would like to add to this conversation leave that in the comments below as well uh, If you have not subscribed yet after I told you to subscribe make sure to subscribe so you see more videos like this and if, if you like this video could help somebody else out uh, make sure you share this with them. I mean, I think this could be a very crucial piece of information information so that, you know, people, you know, learn their parts, learn their exercises, learn their show music a lot faster, okay? It saves a lot of time to, you know, if you don't have to unlearn wrong parts, okay? So cool. Guys, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, you should totally watch more of my videos by clicking over here and subscribing over here. Peace. Catch you guys on the next video.